The Lakers on the other side, they want to close off this series. This game has all the recipes for a good one as we look at Riley Hutchcraft, 0-1 record, 16 goals against. We haven't seen him in a couple games here. And then at the other end, the man, the myth, the legend, Matt Vince, making his return to the Peterborough Lakers. So two totally different goaltenders that we saw 24 hours ago. Back-to-back -back games, Matt Vince making his debut as Scott mentioned. It's showtime at Lock and Lansdowne. We are underway. The Peterborough Lakers in blue, Brooklyn in white with red and black trim of the Lakers will have first chance here. Coming out of the stick of Holden Gatoni. Turnover, here's Sean Evans on the steal. Evans coming in, a twister, a save. Hogar shoots, he scores. One, nothing, Peterborough. Thomas Hogarth had four goals last night in the Lakers 12-8 win, and he gets things started right now. Bit of a scrambled play. Brooklyn unable to clear it out of their end. Sean Evans scoops up the loose ball, and then Hogarth on the rebound, uses the defender as a screen, and goes far side bottom corner. It's tough competing with uh, the Lawn Dart League down at the Legion as the ball will be played here by Katoni. Across, out in front, shot, they score! What a beauty! Highlight reel goal by Jumpin' Joe. Joe Reza Terrence, it's two, nothing Lakers. Just over three minutes into the opening period, the Lakers add another one, and what a goal by Reza Terrence. Watch him out of the bottom corner, comes flying out of nowhere, and then dives right through, avoiding the crease call to make it 2 nothing. Waters, Waters moves it over and a good defensive play by Ogilvy. Loose ball, Murphy takes it, what a pass. Another great pass, shot they score, what a beauty. Brooklyn on the board on a fantastic goal finished off by Kyle Waters. Kyle Waters who's had a great postseason. Adds to his point total here. Austin Murphy gets it started. And then you see Williams with that long, wild pass through traffic all the way to the other side. And then Waters just does the rest of the work from there. It's Ressa Terrets. And now it's Matthews again. Mark Matthews, great pass. Shot, they score, Vitarelli. Oh my goodness, Matthews says whatever you can do, I can do at the other end. And it's 3-1 Peterborough. Well, that didn't take long for the Lakers to respond. They restore their two-goal lead, and you see Matthews on that far side. Looks like he's going to cut through the middle, and then out of nowhere, just a little flip pass right over Mitch Wild, and then Corey Vitarelli right on the top of the crease. He made sure he scored this time. Well, the Peterborough Lakers defender. Nice play by Gilray. He'll get it ahead. Here's a chance. Evans fakes, shoots, he scores! John Evans just stayed up in the offensive zone. He was hoping his team would get the ball right back, which they did. And then here's the end result. All the time in the world for one of the best goal scorers in the world. Not many goalies are going to make that save. Says hello to the fans up in section 19. 4-1 Peterborough, goalies getting a break here, and they deserve a break. Both goalies have been busy. There's been 16 shots on goal, Scott, already in this game. But now, teammates here again. Reza Terrence looking, shooting, scores! His second of the night. 5-1 for Peterborough. Another great goal by Reza Terrence. You can see Sean Evans fight off the defender with one hand on his stick to keep this play alive. And then there's the dish, the initial save, and then the Lakers end up grabbing that rebound and find him the back of the net for their fifth goal of the game. Pick it up off the boards, Brady Kiernan. Sips it out in front, looking there for Connor Kiernan. They could not connect, loose ball. Now taken here by Lanchberry. Across shot, they score! A power play marker by Williams. That's a big goal for Brooklyn. Closes the gap to 5-2. Just four seconds left to go on the man advantage, and Dyson Williams 
shows why he is one of the top scorers in this league. An amazing quick stick. He's left all by himself. You can see him behind the net, and then he sneaks out uncontested. Just a smart heads up play by Williams, making this a 5-2 Lakers lead. So the bench minor ends up being costly to the Peterborough Lakers, making sure they got to the rink. Yeah, there was Not a, too early, because a few different times put out there. Shot, they score. Reza Terrence with a hat trick. What a bullet. It didn't matter whether this game was starting at seven or eight. Joe was ready to go. Joe Reza Terrence, we've seen him score two inside goals. Well, now at the other end, he rips this one from right outside the dotted shooting circle. He waits for the defender to be right in front of him. Uses him as screen right over Hutchcraft. Here comes Brooklyn down by four. Kieran in the pass. Here's an open man and a shot coming and a stop by Vince. Up the floor. Here's Evans. Couple fakes. He scores. The former St. Peter's Saint buries it. It's 7 2 Lakers. Well, as Pete mentioned, Sean has been in Europe the last little while at the European Box Championships. He returned yesterday afternoon, was in the game last night, and now he is on fire here in this game five as the Lakers take a 7-2 lead. There's some happy fans on the far side. Who was uh, recently named in the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame. And Sean will be as well, just a matter of uh, time. There's a shot, they score, they get another one. Matisse going to the net. Lakers on a roll. It's the beast, Kyle Matisse, with another one here for the Lakers. Their eighth goal already, and we're not even halfway through regulation. You can see Hutchcraft gets a piece of it, but it just trickles in. And that is all for Riley Hutchcraft. Certainly not his fault. 25 shots have already been fired his way. And they'll bring in Nick DeMood just to try to shake things up here at the Memorial Center. Matt Vince grabbing some water at the other end. Gets it to Holden Cantoni, moves it over to Corey Vitarelli. Out in front, shot, they score, Holgarth. The Buckhorn Bandit strikes for the second time tonight. It's 9-2 Lakers. Thomas Hogarth picks up his second of the game and the Lakers' ninth goal. Nice little drop pass over top of the crowd from Corey Vitarelli. And then Hogarth uses that long reach, finds the back of the net. Looks like Brooklyn wanted a crease call. They're not going to get it, and it is all smiles. Even Mike Hazen had a little smile there. Shoots. Comes right back to him. One way to get a reset on the shot clock. Matthews maybe tried to force that one a little bit, and here's a breakaway here. A chance for Brooklyn to get a shorty. Eight fakes, a shot, and a score. A beauty by Bartable, who does literally bounce back and gets Brooklyn a huge goal here, shorthanded. That's the sign of a good player right there. He just soaked up a huge hit, and then the very next shift, he leads by example, showing his team that, hey, it doesn't matter how hard you hit, you get hit, you get right back up, good things can happen, and Barnable gets the third goal for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Lose a year when we beat them in six games, so. Some great names on that list. Paul St. John, as you mentioned, he runs the Arena Lacrosse League now. He's the founder. Oh, look at that one. Sean Evans with a beauty. And the Lakers are in double digits. The hat trick goal for Sean Evans. And it is 10 3, Peterborough. Less than two minutes left to go. And look at Evans. Drives his way towards the net. Realizes he can't get around the defender, Boudreau. And he just decides to slide around and fool DeMood, or DeMood with that far side shot. Seven goal cushion now. Moves it in for Waters. Waters really going at uh, one of the Lakers, a great exchange, a shot, they score. 
Kiernan with a blast past Vince. And Brooklyn not going down here in the second without a fight. What great work by Waters, 22, trying to clear the house out a little bit. Again, Sweeting, and then Kiernan buries it. 10-4. What a bullet right inside that dotted shooting circle, and he goes far side, top shelf. Such a big part. We saw that in overtime the other night here, Scott. Such a huge play. That won it for Brooklyn. And here they come. They're looking for more. They'll feel a lot better. They get one. There it is. They bury it. Williams I was going to say they'll feel a lot better going in 10-5 than 10-4 into the intermission. And they got a chance for perhaps maybe even one more before the period ends. So full credit to the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club here for hanging in there, chipping away, and making this a ball game. There's the shot, and it just gets through the wickets of Matt Vince. And Brooklyn getting it back. They got some time on the shot clock to work with. Pilcher, nice move, coming in, shoots, scores. What a beauty. That is what Brooklyn needed right there. Give them a little something to build off, and they're within four. It's a 12-6 game. Pilcher finding the back of the net here at the most opportune time, getting some momentum towards the Brooklyn side. Great move at the top to beat Robert Hope. Watch him right at the top, fakes the shot, gets around Hope, and then a little bit of a twister to fool Matt Vince on the near side. 10-6 with 13-19 left to go in regulation. Sold second one, it was literally like, that was a whack, that was. Yeah, here's Vitarelli, scores. Five seconds of summer right there. That's all that took for Corey Vitarelli. Well, it's amazing how quickly things can happen in lacrosse. Brooklyn's down by four goals. They had just popped one, and then all of a sudden they get two penalties, and five seconds into the man advantage, Corey Vitarelli makes them pay. 11-6 Peterborough and they're still on the power play for another 155. And a great uh, battle in the corner as Leo the Laker looks on. Ooh, solid body check along the boards by Kiernan. Here's a shot, they score! Brooklyn closes a gap to 11-7. Well, it started with a huge hit just outside the Peterborough Lakers penalty box, and then it ended with a nice goal. Here's a look, Bryce Sweeting trying to get the ball out. A little bit of a hip check. Great hit yeah. to keep the play alive for Brooklyn. And then a nice dish down low as Lanchberry makes it 11-7. Lakers still leading. Brooklyn looking for their eighth. There's a shot and a save by Vince. Rebound, they score. Huge goal, another big one. Boudreaux, I think, buries that one. He sure did. Jake Boudreaux makes it a three-goal game. Great play to pick up that rebound. He's running full speed here. You see him on the side. It goes off the iron. Nice heads-up play to get that rebound and then to position himself to get the shot off. As Matt Vince returns to the Memorial Center in fine fashion, that is it. The Lakers are moving on to the MSL Finals. They're winning this one officially four games to one. Tonight's game, 11-8 final for the Lake Show. Coming up, it's your post-game show. You're watching MSL Lacrosse on your TV.